Oh yeah. And welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm leaving the spot. That was a really fun flying that drone up in the mountains. But I think I had enough. Double check, you don't leave nothing behind. I gotta say that I almost lost my drone. I um, I was on the phone looking where I was, and um. And I lost where the site or where the drone was. And um, man, I was try I was I was panicking. I was panicking because uh, what happened was that um, <coughs> my goddamn employee called me in the middle of me flying the drone, and my damn drone disconnected from the phone. And um, he's asking me stupid questions. The fucking guy had a a damn toilet that over over uh overflow. And uh, he called me to tell me what what I gonna do. What I gonna do? I'm like, what do you mean? What are you gonna do, bro? What you why are you bothering my day off? But I'm the head of the engineering department. I'm the manager, so I, I'm you know. So I gotta deal with stupidity and, 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 and you know, all this, you know, sorry fuckers that I hired that they drown in, in an empty glass of water. You know what I mean? What do you mean what you're gonna do? The toilet is, is overflows. You clean the freaking mess, unplug the toilet, and move on with your life. And some people just, they can't figure out the simple things in life, man. I, I just, I don't get it. I really don't. Something so simple. Why are you even calling me? So I lost sight of my drone and, and got disconnected. And that was the first time that that happens to me. Because, um, you know, I, um, I, never, I never been to that. When my drone is, you know, in the middle of the flight and they get disconnected. So, um, I almost fucked up, you know, he almost screwed it up for me, and I'd be very, very upset if I'd lost my drone over this guy, you know, sometimes, you know, you hire people, and, you, you, and they, they tell you, oh yeah, you, you know, I know how to do this, I, I know how to do maintenance, I, you know, they tell, they tell you all these lies, because they want the job, and I get it, when you want the job, you um, you, know, you said whatever hell you got to say in the interview to um, to uh, to get the job. I get it, but at least half of the shit you're saying, let it be truth. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. Apparently they take you for a little horse ride through here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be in their way. I don't wanna freak out the, the horses. So. Oh, I'm getting the heck out of here. Um, don't want to disturb people. You know, I'm sure they pay good money for this shit. Bye, horses. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to hit it up and head back. Because um, that's all the adventure I'm going to take today. I really just want to go out here and take a little ride down here and I think I achieved that so uh, we'll take a ride right back on the highway here and see how the hockey will uh, behave <clears throat> you know that's that's it, it's terrible man when you when you um, on your days off they just don't leave you alone you know even on your days off, you, 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 you're getting irritated. I know, I got a job that takes a lot 
a lot, man. It's a lot of fucking responsibility. And um and anything that everything's involved on you, you know, to keep the place going. You know. And uh on my days off, I don't wanna be bothered with work. I don't want I don't want don't ask me questions, man. Just figure it out. That's what I hire you for. You know? And some people just never can get that right. You know. And especially with something simple that somebody can figure it out, you know. A lot of people, man, they just this is the way they are. Especially here in Vegas, man, they are they're, they're very trancy. Uh, you don't get people here, they, they move here to stay. So you go through a lot of people. You can never find good help. And um, and then the, the ones that do live in this fucking town, or they either got a drug problem, gambling problem, you know, baby mama problems. They always got problems that they can't even make it to work, or, you know, my wife kicked me out last night, or I don't have a car, or, or they spend all their money gambling and they don't have money for gas or you know it, it goes on and on and on and, and that's that's a problem in vegas man it's, it's hard to find somebody that can keep their fucking nose clean you know like me i'm a different kind of cat bro I, i'm all about working paying bills instead stay in shape work out keep my mind straight you know i i, I do got some fucking girl problem you know, because we all do, and uh, it looks like somebody uh, end up down there. I don't know how the hell. I hope to God not. But uh, Jesus Christ, don't tell me somebody did end up down there. Ah oh, man, I, I don't want to monkey around in this hallway and get ran over like a squirrel. So. That person must have a really, really bad experience. And I don't want to have that myself. So, pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. <coughs> you know, I got I got girls problem, just like I was saying earlier. But you know, how many of us have girl problem? You know what I mean? We all do. You know, women, women are different these days, man. And, um, it, it, it is a hustle, man. It is. It's a motherfucking hustle, you know. Uh, I'm a type of guy, you know. I got. I, I was dating somebody. They always complain about her, you know. Her ex used to beat on her and drink and get drunk all the time and uh, treat her bad, you know. And uh, here I am, a guy. They only work, come home, pay bills, got his shit together. You know what I mean? I'm not in no drugs. I'm not, you know. The only thing I do smoke is weed. I, um, you know, I keep my shit straight, man. I, I'm not into all that bullshit club and going to the strip club and none of that nonsense. You know, I'm the type of guy that I'm, when I'm with somebody, man, I don't, I don't fuck around behind their back. You know, I, I try to, 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 to run a clean slate, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to fuck around behind nobody's back, man. I'm trying to do, do what a respectful fucking person should do. And um, there's a lot of females out there that can complain about men, you know. We always the fucking bastards in this fucking world, you know. But then when they do have somebody, that they do treat them good, they do fucking do everything they can to make them happy, they don't appreciate that either. So what the fuck you, you know, where you fall down on all this shit? You never win, bro. You never win, you know. And it's funny how this chick is because she will have fucking will flip out over some dumb shit, take off, and I don't see her for two or three days, and then she call me back or text me back, and she's all acting like like it was all my fault, and um, and she you know I, I'm already getting over this bitch, and now all of a sudden she want to come back, you know, and it's like god damn, you know you you playing fucking games on me, you fucking playing with my motherfucking mind. It drives a man crazy that way, man. There's a lot of you females, you like, uh, you should understand that, you know what I'm saying? Either or, man, either you treating your girl wrong, you know, at least don't play with somebody's mind, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair. So, uh, anyway, enough of that fucking bullshit drama. But I just want to talk about that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, 
it's very unstable man and when you're dealing with somebody very unstable it's not worth it it's not worth it man you know i want somebody like me man i only got one direction in life you know and uh and, and all i want to do is do good do well work you know what i mean do what you got to do man you know because you got to pay the dues you know you got to do right so that way later on in life you can do enjoy your life you know so i'm not about to screw my life or screw nobody else's life you know so anyhow yeah uh it's been pretty cool riding through here uh seeing a lot of trash through here like always this place has always been like that everybody come up here to just uh dump their furniture or Oh, they're what, at balonies. Instead, they just uh, take it to the goddamn dumpster. They just come up here in the desert to fuck it everything up. Which is unfair, too. You know? We all don't want to live that way. Only because you do. But anyway, man. I, uh, I'm glad you guys uh, enjoyed my video. I got one of the subscribers and he let me a really positive comment the other day. Uh, when I was talking about my heaters he, he you know he lift me up and uh, I like comments like that man I, I, I pinned that comment on that video and uh, he's a pretty cool guy man I mean uh, I, I was already uh, thinking about quitting doing uh, motor bl uh, blogs but you know you know I guess my channel is not for everybody and um, at least some people do appreciate you know the little bit of stuff I put out there for guys for you guys to see and um, and I really appreciate that man from the bottom of my heart bro so if you're a new uh, if you're a new subscriber of uh, or you are uh, new to the channel and you haven't subscribed man, please subscribe I need some subscribers you can see the valley how beautiful this look man so it's a beautiful Las Vegas is a beautiful place man and just a lot of people destroying it you know, and that's just happening everywhere you go these days, so you're never gonna change that. So anyway guys, be good to yourselves. Thank you so much for watching my channel and uh God bless.